ukaribishe kwenye kipengele kingine tena ambacho tutaenda kuelezea discuss the cleaning preventive maintenance storage of apparatus container enclosure using compound uh, hapa tutaweza kuona maana ya preventive maintenance ni nini of apparatus container enclosure and lastly we shall see about the storage apparatus container and the closure using compound those are our learning tasks which we shall discuss together now after use apparatus container and the closure should be cleaned all items should be soaked in the water to prevent the deposit drying up this make them more difficult to, re to remove matu baada kutumia vifaa vyetu hususan container na apparatus tunapaswa tuvisafishe na kuvisafisha huko tunapaswa tuviweke kwenye maji mengi hii yote ni kuweza kuzuia mgandamizo wa baadhi ya dawa zetu kwa kutengeneza chemicals au raw materials ambazo zinakuwa zimegandamia kwenye kwenye vifaa vyetu hivi na hii yote ni kuweza kuhakikisha kabisa kwamba mnapoviweka kwenye maji mengi ni kuweza kuvilainisha na kutokuruhusu kugandamiana kwa uchafu ambao au kuwele material tuko natumia kutengeneza pia use clean and general purpose detergent water for reusable plastic glass or metal item most item only need to be soaked for about 30 minutes to remove debris before disinfection or sterilizing and also do not leave item especially metal items soaking from the long period of time e.g. overnight or at least can damage can damage them kwa baadhi ya vifaa tupaswa kuvika kwenye maji kwa muda mrefu na pasi kwa muda mfupi ili kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba vina vina maintain ubora wake na ku avoid kuharibika kwa kifaa hicho pia after cleaning rinse with clean water and dry thoroughly kwa kisha baada kwa tumeshavyosha vifaa vyetu hivi tunavikausha na kuhakikisha kwamba hakutakuwa na ba, na water property ambayo itakuwa imebaki kwenye vifaa vyetu hivyo hii yote ni kuzuia kwa vifaa ambavyo ni meto imeweza kaweka kutu hivyo kupelekea kitu hicho kupu, kupunguza ubora wake wa ufanisi wa kazi je preventive maintenance ni nini preventive maintenance hii inasema kwamba is a regular service recommended by manufacturer and carried out by the trained technician to check their apparatus performance and replace the part maintenance can double the lifetime of apparatus and reduce the breakdown kama tulivyoona hapo awali ya kwamba a uh, present maintenance ni regular service ni 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 kazi inayofanyika kila wakati mnaweza mnasema kwamba ni ni namna ambavyo kifaa hiki kinafanywa marekebisho marekebisho haya yanaendana na ushauri wa mtengenezaji ambaye ametengeneza kifaa hiki ambacho kinapaswa kitumiwe na mtu ambaye amefundishwa au ana ana elimu kuhusiana kifaa hicho ambacho ana anakwenda kukitumia na hivyo kutambua kwamba baadhi ya vifaa ambavyo huko vinaharibika yeye naye pia atakuwa na uwezo wa kuweza kuvirudishia mahala pake ambapo pame pame pameharibika au kunua kifaa kingine na kukurudishia ili kifaa hicho kiendelee kufanya kazi kwa ufanisi zaidi na mara nyingi event matters inashauriwa na na manufacturer au au trained technicians ambaye anakuwa na elimu ya au ujuzi wa kifaa hicho. Wataalamu wanashauri ya kwamba unapokuwa ukifanya regular checkup au regular le, 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 service una maintain na unaongeza ufanisi wa kifaa hicho kufanya kazi kwa muda mrefu. Uh, from a civic person play an essential role in loot care and the maintenance of apparatus container and closure checking for damage and reporting any defects important care and the maintenance task includes kwa yule change chain technicians atakuwa na uwezo wa kujua kufahamu kifaa hiki kimeharibika wapi na kuweza kudisha vifaa kifaa kile ambacho au kukiondoa kifaa kile ambacho kimeharibika kime na kuweka kifaa kipya 
huyu trend personnel ambao tunamongea yeye atapata kuhakikisha kabisa kwamba anakitunza kifaiki katika ubora wake na kulingana na kila ambacho manufacturer ameweza kushauri na kitu cha msingi cha kuzingatia katika ku, 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 ku kulinda ubora wake kifaa ni kuhakikisha kwamba vifaa hivi vinasafishwa na kukaushwa hususan pipette test tube container and imaging cylinder are stored while they are in upside down na pasa tuna na vinua na weka ongea sema kichwa chini miguu juu kwa maana ya kwamba kule kwenye bottom inakuwa juu afu kule on top inakuwa down kwa nini ni kuweza ku drain maji yaliyomo ndani ya kile kifaa na kisha kinakauka kwa usahihi zaidi na ku avoid deposition of dust jambo jingine kuki protecting item from the dust and the dirty after use by keeping them covered mpaka tuvifunike na kuvurinda na vumbi pamoja na uchafu ambao unaweza kusababisha wakati wa kutengeneza kupata mchanganyiko baina ya uchafu na dawa hivyo kufanya dawa siweze kufanya kazi vizuri au dawa yetu kuweza kubadilika rangi hiyo tunasababishwa na uchafu au bacteria Ingine kwa upande wa item ambazo zinatumia umeme ni kuweza kuzizima na kuzitoa kwenye switch kuhakikisha kwamba in case for for electricity goes off basi kifaa chetu kitakuwa salama na in case electricity turn on it means that kifaa chetu kwezi kuharibika kwa maana muda mwingi umeme unaweza karudi ukiwa ni mwingi zaidi ukafanya kifaa hicho kuweza kuharibika na kuharibika huko kutapekea wewe kuweza kutumia gharama nyingine kubwa ya kuweza ku inua kifaa hicho tena. Kwa ni vyema baada tu baada ya kutumia ukiondoe kwenye switch. Kwa una plug off. Then when you while you want to use it you plug it in for 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 better use. Storing item properly where when they are not in use. E.g. thermometer in the case and other glassware kwa vifaa mfano thermometer unapaswa ukinap mara tu baada ya kutumia kurudisha kwenye kifaa chake usika hii yote itasaidia kuweza kutunza kifaa hicho kwa muda mrefu mara ukiacha wazi tu unaweza kujikuta muda mwingine kikaanguka chini na kikavunjika hivyo na kupelekea kutumia gharama nyingine na kununua kifaa hicho kwa ku, kwa kuto kufanya hivyo ndapelekea wewe sasa utakuwa ni mtu wa kununua kifaa mara kwa mara lakini ndikapoludisha katika kifaa chake usika nacho kina uwezo wa kuweza kuhimili hata endapo kitaanguka chini akitaweza kuvunjika lakini kitaendelea kwa katika uhalisia wake wa awali replacing lost worn clapped or broken parts e.g. measuring cylinder beaker steering rod and motor pesto mara tu baadhi vifaa hivi ambavyo nimeweza kuvitaja kama vimeharibika sasa ni either kuna kleki au inavunjika na pasa pia kuviondoa au vile vinavyohitaji kufanya replacement unaweza ukafanya lakini kwa kila ambacho kiwezekana na pasa kuondoa na kuweka mahali ambapo panastahili you can help to remain staff about this care and the maintenance task by putting written instruction near the equipment ya mara nyingi vifaa hivi utakuta kuna maelezo ambayo yanaelezea namna gani ya kutumia na namna gani ya kusafisha kabla kutumia kifaa hicho. Kwa kwa wewe utakapopata nafasi ya kuweza kutumia hususan ni vifaa vya equipment na instrument kama weighing balance, uh, HPLC machines, dissolution machine, coating machines, basin burner, stove na vingine, basi utakuta kuna maelekezo yameko pale namna ya kutumia na namna ya kuweza kukisafisha kifaa hicho kifaa hicho mara tu baada ya kutumia. Twende kwenye upande wa storage matumizi ya kuweza kuvitunza kifaa hiki hususan ya parts, container and closure. Closure hivi ni naita hivi ni vifuniko ambavyo vinatumika ku cover on top of the container. Most of the parts, container and closure will be kept in the store from which they are issued when needed. A parts, container and closure should be stored according to the manufacturing section. No passage condition are important to protect a parts, container and closure for from damage. So yetu tunapasa hiyo kwa namna gani? Nimesema kwamba apart si closure and container we normally store in the we normally 
store them in the container in the in the store therefore vitu fa hivi napata vifuate kutunza kulingana na jinsi mtengenezaji alivyoweza kutushauri lakini store yetu tunapasa iwe katika namna ifuatayo store yetu tunapasa iwe na ulinzi store yetu tunapasa iwe safi store yetu tunapasa kuwa na wadudu store yetu tunapasa ikaushwe endapo tunapotumia maji kwa ajili ya kusafisha store yetu haipasi kuwa na joto jingi sana haipasi kuwa na too hot or too cold na joto la joto la chini sana store yetu inapasa iwe na hewa ya kutosha store yetu haipasi kuwa na na mwanga ambao utaingia moja kwa moja ndani ya store maana kuna baadhi ya dawa zetu zinaweza kuwa zinaathirika kana na mwanga hivyo haipasi kuwa na mwanga wa kutosha mwanga kwa maana kwamba lays ya lays ambao zinakuwa produced by the sun they are not supposed to enter direct in our storage room uh, to, to ensure security keep the store locked make one person responsible for looking after supplies or keeping keys and lock the store so yetu napaswa na mtu maalum ambaye atakuwa anahusika katika kufungua na kufunga na kukisha vitu vinakaa katika usalama wakati wa utoaji na wakati wa uingizaji pia keep the store room clean because that attract insects and rodent if the store room have windows put put up contained to keep out direct sunlight kama store zetu zinakuwa na madisha basi tunapaswa tuweke mapazia ya kuweza kutokuruhusu mwanga kuweza kuingia ndani na kuweza kuathiri dawa zetu ambazo nakuwa tumezitunza katika eneo maalum many items such as labato reagents are made in country with a cool climate so for example such to protect from excessive heat means store below 25 to 30 celsius degrees standard soil temperature for different instructions are provided kila kifaa ambacho kimetengenezwa kinakuwa mara nyingi na recommendation temperature ambayo na mara nyingi inakuwa ni temperature kati ya 25 hadi 30 na vifaa vingi vinatengenezwa kwenye nchi mbalimbali ambazo zinakuwa na joto lidi la kadri kulingana na hali ya hewa ya nchi husika thank you for listening i wish you a nice day